Hello, my name is Trevor Smith and I'm here from Pico Technology. Our friends at Distrelec have invited us to their facility here in Zurich and we'll be taking a look at the PicoScope 5000 series flexible resolution oscilloscope. Oscilloscopes have always been the tool of choice for engineers who are debugging electronic devices. The most critical parameters for engin engineers who are verifying digital designs are time related. Rise and fall times are of fundamental importance. Clock and data timing and phase relationships need to be precisely controlled. But the new generation of mixed signal designs employ digital control techniques but are also using a broader range of analog signals including sensors, smart power controls and more. In addition to timing parameters we need to observe and measure characteristics such as total harmonic distortion, crosstalk and noise. A conventional oscilloscope with 8 bits vertical resolution is uh, sufficient for making timing measurements in digital systems but for mixed digital plus analog designs the required oscilloscope specifications are more challenging. Designers need to make measurements with higher resolution and improved dynamic range. The Picoscope 5000 is the first flexible resolution oscilloscope that can make 8, 10, 12, 14, 15 or even 16 bit resolution measurements. Changing from one resolution to another is a simple user control that can be selected from the soft front panel. Internally, multiple high resolution analog to digital converters are employed in different time interleaved and parallel combinations to deliver either high sampling rate at a giga sample per second with 8 bits resolution or high resolution with 62.5 mega samples per second sampling at 16 bits resolution and other combinations in between. But high resolution is of little benefit unless it is accompanied by improved front end performance. The Picoscope 5000 has better than 70 dB spurious free dynamic range. Next, we'll switch to see a demonstration of the Picoscope 5000. This demonstration will show how the scope can switch from 8 to 12 bits resolution to reveal characteristics of a high frequency noise that is interfering with a low frequency signal. The Picoscope 5000 is a USB connected PC based instrument. Control of the instrument is done through the uh, laptop computer and display of the waveforms that it's captured as shown on the laptop screen. What we're looking at here is a relatively low frequency sine wave. It's a 9 kilohertz sine wave and we can see it clearly on the screen. Looking at it there appears to be a bit of noise that we can start to see at the peaks of the sine wave. We might be interested to analyse that noise a little bit further. So we could use the zoom control to zoom in on one of those peaks and see what's going on. Now if I freeze it for a moment you can see actually it's, it hasn't really told us very much more information. We're essentially looking at the quantization levels between each of the uh, bits of resolution of the analog to digital converter. So what we can do with the 5000 series is we're not limited to just acquiring data with 8 bits resolution. We can have higher bits of resolution. So we'll switch now to acquire that same signal with 12 bits of resolution and see what difference it makes. So the, the PicoScope now has reconfigured itself, it's reconfigured the A to D converters to acquire with 12 bits resolution and we can do the same zooming in to look at the characteristics of the noise and now we're starting to see much more information. We're starting to see that the wave shape of the noise that is riding on the top of that waveform isn't random, it's actually triangular. And I can use the rulers to make a measurement on the characteristics of that uh, triangular noise. So we've got a, uh, a period of about one microsecond, so the frequency of the noise is at about a megahertz. I could use the horizontal rulers to measure the amplitude 
So we've got noise of about uh, 13, 14 millivolts. So by switching to higher resolution, we're learning much more about the characteristics of the noise that we need to investigate to solve that if it's a problem in our design. Now, we can go even further. We can switch, instead of 8 or 12 bits resolution, we can switch all the way to 16 bits resolution on a single channel. And if we then acquire the signal, zoom in further, now we can see with exquisite detail and absolute cl clarity the, the characteristics of that noise. And it's perhaps coming from a, a power supply or crosstalk that is affecting the design. But by knowing the characteristics of the noise gives us important clues as to what the source of the noise is and where we should make improvements to the design to solve the problem. Picoscope is packed with features and performance that you need to get your work done. Perhaps one of the best features of all is that it's so transportable. Wherever you're going, you can pack a Picoscope with you. You never need to be on site without your Picoscope. Have a great trip and thanks for watching.